George, thank you so much for joining us and welcome back. Can't wait to see you back in that octagon and you are indeed going to face Michael Bisping. How did that fight come about? Well, it came about, um, I would say, mixed martial art, it's a little bit like the stock market. Um, f I compare fighters to stock. Sometimes some stock is very high and then after it, it gets very low, it fluctuates. Um, I wanted to come back and fight the guy who has the highest stock as possible, who's the biggest draw right now. Uh, Conor McGregor is out, uh, Ronda Rosie is out. Uh, I wanted to make a big boom and I know that for, for a fact that Michael Bisping always wanted to, to fight me. So uh, that's, I think that's the, the move that the fans want to see, UFC want to do. And uh, Michael and I would want, want to as well. And it's for the title, it's something that I never attempted before uh, for, uh, to fight in a different weight class that I, that I used to compete. He's the most dangerous breed. I would call him the worst nightmare for fighters because he doesn't only rely on his talent. He's a hard work guy. He's a grinder. He's been put out before, but he always come back. He's been knocked down before, he always come back. No matter what you throw at him, no matter what is the obstacle, he's going to cross it. So he's the most dangerous guy. I know when I fight him, I'm going to have to put the switch off completely to him. I'm not going to, he's not going to, he's never going to, going to give up. I fought a lot of guys in the past. They give up mentally before the fight even end. But Michael is not that type of guy. He's going to continue until, until he can, uh, until he can breathe. He's going to keep going forward and he's going to make a, a very interesting fight. If it wasn't Michael Bisping holding that middleweight title, if it was Yo Romero, for example, would you still be wanting to go for the middleweight belt? It, it, it would depend on the stock, how, 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 what is the value of the stock. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm not, I'm not afraid of no human being. Um, everything I do is calculated. There's different, different reasons. There are a bunch of reasons why I'm doing things. I do it for the sport, for the love, but also for the business. Belt is important and I choose I'm 30, 36 years old right now. I don't have a lot of fight left. I want to make the biggest fight as possible. I want to fight the guys that the stuck is the highest and it would elevate myself. It will be also a fight that the fans want to see and the UFC want to make and make good money, good business as well. To make my comeback, I needed to find an opponent that excite me. I'm not excited at the idea of fighting a friend. Uh, I've never been. And, um, there is plenty of guy of, to fight in UFC, but I only see Michael Bisping right now. If I come back to competition as the same George St. Pierre used to be, I'm going to have a very, very bad night against Michael Bisping. The sport has involved and I'm aware of it. And if I come back, it's because I'm convinced, my coach are convinced, and all my training partners are convinced that I am in my prime and I am a much better version than I used to be. I got more tools. I, I'm ready to pull the trigger better, more aggressive, more opportun opportun opportunistic, and physically I'm in my prime. Mentally, I'm at my best. I believe uh, when you perform in, in, in a certain area for a performer as a human being, it's like a triangle. There is the mental, the physical and the emotional. When I used to compete at the end of my last run, physically I was okay, but emotionally and mentally I was not really 100%. That's why I had issues, that's why I stepped away and I don't want to go back in, into the detail people knows. But now I'm, I'm 100% in those three categories and I'm better than ever. I believe Michael Bisping will have an advantage in the size, in the weight department, but I do believe I'm a better athlete. I got more tools, I'm more well-rounded, and I got a higher fighting IQ than he does. And that's why I'm gonna win that fight. And I've got to ask you, Michael said recently to TMZ that you are out of your mind if you think you can come off the couch after three <laughs> years and take his belt from him. What have you got to say to that? Well, I, I've, been, I've not been exactly sitting on a couch for the last three years drinking beer, Michael Bisping. I've been training really hard and I've been training really hard to come back and make a big, a big boom. And unfortunately, you'll be the victim of that. 